Hey guys, what's up? And today we are going to talk about how to study for your final IB exams. And let's get right into the video. Every subject has to be studied differently. You can't follow the same study style for maths as well as English. The phrase, no shit Sherlock, comes to mind. Divided the subjects into categories and let's start with the quantitative subjects, uh, which is like maths HL, math SL, or even math studies. So what I did for maths was simply past papers, past papers, and past papers. It is so important that in your maths class you understand what your teacher is talking about. As long as you understand the logic, like in logarithms or calculus, your, how, do, how your calculator works, you need to dive into the pool of past papers. When I first started doing past papers for maths, I was getting fives and sixes, and by the time it was really close to the exams, my scores were high sixes and rarely low sevens. But I believe that you are the best on your exam day, so I ended up getting a very comfortable seven for Max HL. Moving on to the theoretical quantitative subjects, which would be physics, chemistry, economics. So they require you to understand a scientific theory and then apply it to solve questions. It's really important to study theoretical subjects using notes. However, studying notes is like reading a book on how to swim. Until you dive in the pool of past papers, you won't really learn. If I'm studying about mechanics, until I see an exam question, I'm not gonna be able to transition from theory into question. The theory is so freaking beautiful, but as soon as you get into those past papers, you're like, what? I didn't even study that at all. But So what I was doing was uh, reading my notes and once I finished that I was side by side doing lots of past papers getting sixes and sixes again and again and again until I was able to get a few sevens and I was happy with that and the day before your exam just revise your notes once again I did not do past papers the day before my exam I just revised everything uh, briefly and then had a good night's sleep Moving on to the qualitative subjects like business management, geography, history, biology, economics, as well as ITGS. What you do for these qualitative subjects is understand all of your theory and memorize it so well. I highlighted my business book by Paul Wang and then what I did was I took his revision guide and highlighted that as well and then I made notes for the entire syllabus. I first referred to the syllabus and then looked at the learning objective whether I'm supposed to simply state or whether I'm supposed to evaluate for this part of the syllabus and whether I'm supposed to draw and just uh, construct. So as long as you know that you know how much to study for each part and that's going to be really helpful. Once you make your, your notes and you're really confident that you know almost all of that theory, you need to start doing past papers. If you do past papers for two to three years, you will realize it's quite repetitive. For example, in business management, there's almost always a question about focus groups. I don't know why, but it's always there. And for economics, theory of the firm has been coming out for like the past three to four years every single year. So past papers are important for almost every single subject, but the way you approach it and the time you get to the past papers that's what differs from subject to subject. For maths, you just dive straight into it because that's your best preparation. But for the qualitative subjects, you're going to go bonkers if you don't know your theory yet. Like, there's a 10 mark question and you're like, I have no idea how to start the answer. But as soon as you learn the theory, as soon as you know like that graph in your economic syllabus, you're like, oh my god, this question is actually easy if I just know my theory. The next subject was the hardest subject for me in IB. Language ab initio. I took language ab initio, I took Indonesian, and I was not really able to get the grasp of the language in the first year, but, but I realized that there's a way to study. Look, go to the primary library of your school. I know it's an embarrassment. You will see kids from like grade 1 and 2 there and you're in grade 12 or grade 11. 
but you need to go there and look for those books in that ab initio language. So I started with books which had like four to five words on a page and it was actually fun to read. Nice. I moved on to those grade 2 to grade 3 storybooks eventually and I was able to learn so much vocabulary just by reading storybooks. These children's stories that you've heard like 10 or 15 years ago, it's all gonna come back to you. Also go to quizlet.com and you can find so many vocabulary sets there, it's so fun to learn. The language of initio is just vocabulary, 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 nothing else. All you need to learn are words. Once you know how to form a sentence, the more words you know, the more you'll be able to write and it's gonna be so freaking easy. Now let's talk about how to balance your study like two months or a month before exams because now you have these six subjects and you know how to study for them. but. How much to study so that you prepare well for your exams. So what I recommend is 60 days before your exams you need to start studying 4 hours a day at least about 2-3 to three subjects a day. Just study a quantitative subject and once you're bored with that then study a qualitative subject. For some subjects you can do past papers, for some you can make notes. Find that way to make your study fun because now you know that each subject can be tackled differently. Nice. About 15 to 20 days before your exams, I just stopped going to school because I felt it was pretty useless and I just start, started studying 8 hours a day. It was lots of past papers and lots of just reading over my notes again and grasp that last 5 to 10 percent of knowledge. Do not learn any new material one to two months before exams, you should know everything. The problem now you're tackling is just revising everything and being able to write it down on that paper that you get on exam day. That is it for how to study for your exams. Please subscribe down below and go to my website for notes and lots of useful documents. If I got a notification from IBO that I can share my documents with you guys in September. But yeah, that's why I had to take all my IAs and EEs off. Thank you so much and bye guys!